previously on my eclectic bedroom makeover. Part one is already out, so if you haven't seen that yet, make sure you go watch that video first. I was able to get a ton done in that first video, so make sure you go check it out before tragedy struck. So sad. Well, that's great. Hi, I'm Amelia. I used to be an operating room nurse till I found out that I was pregnant. So I decided to trade in all of my scrubs so I could be with my family. Come hang out with me as I remodel my home, quilt, restore furniture, and find thrifted goods for my home. Please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thanks. Crisis averted. So I'm sure you saw me drop that light. Oh. It's not a big deal. There's broken pieces all throughout this thing um, that the previous owner glued back together and I still love it. So just a small chunk fell out. I glued it back in. Can't even tell. They look so good. Painting time. I'm kind of nervous uh, to paint just because I've never done with sprayer before. Um, I watered my paint down by 10% and I taped everything off and my room looks like a scene of Dexter. And so I'm going to do this wall first. It's my biggest wall and then I've got to move this forward and spray behind here. And then this dresser is coming out and then I can spray the rest of that wall. But my goal is to get this one done tonight and maybe this one back here, depending on how efficient I am. <laughs> I liked doing the sprayer. Um, I think it was a lot faster. Depending on how much you actually water down your paint, I would recommend just having like a roller, a dry roller or like a paintbrush on hand just in case you accidentally overwatered it like I did. Um, that way you can catch those drips really fast and just roll them out super smooth. Um, Chris actually finished this process for me because having to wear the mask and then just like the fumes ended up being a little bit too much for me being pregnant and all. So, um, all I did was finish up like the little trim bits that we couldn't get to. And then I let Chris finish while I did a couple paintings for the bedroom. So I, I am just a hobbyist by all means. So um, take what I say with a grain of salt. But what I like to do when I start a landscape is I just rough in basic shapes, triangles, rectangles, those things you can find um, the shapes within the color scheme that you're looking at. So that's usually what I do. And then I start detail painting the thing that draws me in the most. In this instance, it was the sky. And I just have fun and I just play with it. And I don't stick to like a rigorous color palette. I just have fun. And if I think it looks good, then I keep moving on. Okay, so the wallpaper's done, the painting's done, um, all the trim has been freshened up and things are ready for decorating. So, also I wanted to mention, this little cabinet over here, I added legs to it. You can't tell because Gideon is in the way, but I will show a shot of the legs that I put on so that Chris's nightstand over here and mine are at the same, same level, even though they're completely different. So this is the decor that I've picked out for this space. Not all of it's gonna be used, but I like to have a variety. I like to have them laid out so that I can see what I have.
So I know that my husband's side table isn't super aesthetically pleasing. It's a little dusty, even though I just dusted it, which is why I hate black furniture. And it's got chips and things on it, and it has controllers, medicine. But I wanted to do something that looked nice. It looks okay, um, but it's still masculine because my husband is not one to be having flowers on his night's time table. So I figured we'll just mix and match, show his side or her side. My side's very different, um, but it for him, it is useful he, at, at night. He's not gonna be frustrated looking for all of his stuff and it's not gonna be a big deal. So yeah, let's move on. This is the next thing that I hung up that you guys didn't see. This is an authentic 1960s possibly 1970s uh, tapestry. Um, it's natural jute fibers. It is glorious. I love this thing. It's big. It's monochromatic. I think it's timeless. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And guess how much I paid for it? $2.99. And I thought that was like such a steal. $2.99. That's amazing. So three bucks um, at my Goodwill. It's crazy. It's so good. I love it. I love it. I'm never getting rid of it. <laughs> anyway, so I've got a bench underneath it and I think we should style it. Let's see if we can come up with something kind of cute, um, multi-patterned and yeah. I love that. I think having some contrast, I need to find something that's gonna be contrasting to those two patterns. <sighs> I love rugs. I love rugs. I don't know how to tell you guys, but I love rugs. It looks great. Let's check out what it used to look like before. It was cluttered, not very functional, had really bad lighting. It had wallpaper borders and just really didn't have a good flow. So let's see what we accomplished. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoy content like room transformations, please subscribe. I've got another one coming up.